I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a great video and a great topic to talk about the uh, USS Black, which is one of the most powerful DDs right now at Tier 9, especially during clan battles that's going on, rank battles that are all occurring at Tier 8 and Tier 9 levels, and this is probably one of the most powerful destroyers let's talk about it before we begin like subscribe bell button below appreciate all the subscribers and support on our way to 2000 subscribers and we're gonna do a premium dd giveaway at 2000 so let's get right to it what is the uss tier 9 black it is it was a premium ship that was given out a long long time ago and then just recently i believe about i don't know several months ago or last year they did another event for the uss black that they brought it back and gave you an opportunity to do some combat missions and so forth to get achieve tokens and you may have had to put out a little bit of money that's what i did just to get the black because i did not want to let this opportunity go so let's go right to it here's the action here going against two destroyers right here and what is the power of the signature like i said gimmick of the black well guess what you got stealth radar you basically have a smoke and a radar all in one combination look what you can do you just pop the radar when you're inside of the smoke. They can't see you. They can't use anything against you until, unless they have radar themselves. And we are just doing a shooting fish in a barrel right here where we have a, our sister ship, the Fletcher, which is exactly like a black, just the uh, different gimmicks. Uh, we have five of the same guns, and we're just sitting there. Look, we look identical. But we're going to see if we can nail this black load. The Fletcher has nothing... Uh, it can do against us, really, other than launch torpedoes at us. And we are, again, always keep on the move because, look, smoke is a magnet for torpedoes. And boom, splash one RP back to 40. There goes the first destroyer down. And we're, Chung Mu is driving away, which is exactly a counterattack you should have done when you have a black engaged. You literally just turn away, slim profile, minimize cross-section, and get out of dodge. So that's exactly how you would counter that move that I just did. But for me... I understand what's happening there. He could not get out of my spider web right there of radar, which is 7.5 kilometers. And now we go undetected using our own smoke screen to break the disengagement, break the line of sight. And now we are now free to shoot while the Chung Mu is being spotted by our other ships. And we are just taking free shots at this point, going back into our smoke. Um, I call this the, the, the in and out tactic, where essentially you lay a smoke screen in a U pattern. Uh, which is basically just turning you turning in a loiter uh, left turn and creating that zero donut kind of circle and guess what as you're turning and e exiting egressing the uh, first set of smoke you just come back around and get back right in the smoke and now you're right in the same position i was in earlier while i mitigated the torpedoes and now i'm in a perfect firing position against the fdg so look at that tactic right there use it analyze it uh, pick it apart do what you can to make it better and you get better at the same time but now we're just basically doing a free damage on the fdg and the, uh, he has no support. Really, the Chung Mu's out of position. His other ship in the bottom left-hand corner, the Kronstadt, I believe, is out of position. So he's pretty much a shooting gallery dead stick in the water. And we're just using our smoke. Now, in the American smoke, as you can see, lasts a long, long time. One of the advantages of the U.S. destroyer line. And if we can use that. And our look, our radar is almost back to cool down from 20 seconds. Our guns are pretty... Uh, now, this is as max gun build as I could get it down to 2.4, 2.5-ish seconds. And we're just pretty much picking this guy apart and uh, just shooting the superstructure. The shells are 127 millimeter, and boom, splash two RP back to 40. Well, that is the first five minutes in the game. We got two kills and 34,000 damage. They ha we have knocked out both their um, their destroyer and battleship in the first round, securing the uh, lower cap, the Bravo cap that is. And look look at how much that will turn the tide of the game. Now the other cool thing I like about the black is the torpedoes. Now you see I launched a spread right there of 10. The range is actually pretty incredible, 13.7 uh, kilometer range. However, these things move at the speed of smell, and that's why a lot of people online call them land, uh, sea mines or land, or I guess you could say a sea land mines, whatever you want to call them, but because they're so slow. Look how fast I'm going. I'm going about 35-ish knots, and I'm almost catching up to my own torpedoes because they only go, you guessed it, about 43 to 45 knots. So they are really slow. Look at those tor the other uh, friendly torpedoes going in front of me. They are actually beating mine, so... These things are very, very, very slow. But keep in mind that uh, the cool thing is that if you get a fast cooldown time, you can launch another spread while these other torpedoes are still going. So you can have two sets out there. In addition, the other cool gimmick of these torpedoes is they have a 0.9 kilometer detection, which means that you literally only have a few seconds to react. Because once you see these things, you, only, you have to make literally, you have about six to seven seconds to make a decision. The, to what to do because these things will be literally un, just pop out of nowhere but the cool the actually not the cool thing but the i guess you could say the counter of it is because since they're so slow 
you have enough time to actually react because they're so slow. Even though they pop out in front of you at 0.9 kilometers, uh, you still got some time because they're so dang slow. Now, if these were like Holland torpedoes or something, they like go 90 knots, it'd be almost impossible. These things are laser beams in. But since they're not, they're slow. It's kind of the balance of the game. Uh, the developers thought that, hey, let's make them a little bit slower. And look, I already got two sets out again. Now, I know the other destroyer is out here somewhere. I don't know where the Chung Mu's at, but I'm just kind of loitering. There he is. Now, we have a 5.8 kilometer detection. We see first, we shoot first. So right now, we spotted him first. Now, he sees us. He's going to aim his guns towards us. After we get the first shots off, we nail a couple right there. And, yep, we get some nice juicy hits. We got some friendly hits right there. And see, we knock this other destroyer out. And that would secure the game for us right there because once you knock out the destroyers, Boom! All destroyers dead, and that is how you win the game. And what, what did I say? Once you lose all destroyers, the game is in your hands. Protect your DDs at all costs. So uh, both DDs were kind of aggressive, but uh, that's the name of the game. Now that is the power of the black right there, the ability to smoke up, go undetected, and pop radar and reveal the other person right then and there, unless the other team has radar within. Uh, that's how you would play that tactic. But man, look how powerful it is. This game's in the bag. We pretty much secured the win right there, and the other uh, the other ship, the other enemy ship is going down right there out in the distance, and he's down. Palmer's dead. All that's left is Kronstadt. So that's pretty much the game. Let me know what you think about the black. Unfortunately, it's not. I don't think it is available anymore. Uh, it's more of like kind of a, a timing event where either it's some kind of special event of a Christmas crates or Santa crates, what do you want to call it, or they do some kind of special event that will bring it back, but. Yeah, I definitely recommend, highly recommend during this time of rank battles and clan battle season. It is powerful, powerful, powerful. This is the concealed gun build. Now, I will do another video where I actually change the build, commander build on this thing, where it's strictly full torpedoes because um, I think I get down the torpedoes down to about 70 second reload, which is just over a minute. And you are literally launching wave after wave of wave of these sea landmines and there it is perfect for convoys it is perfect for a lot of unsuspecting ships that are just like driving in or rushing your uh flank because this thing launches torpedoes out not like as much as the venom can the venom is also this counter sister ship but the the black Death has its own special place for it as well but hey that is the game right there let me know what you think about the uss black i'm going to show some more videos of it it is very very powerful right now i think it's one of the most powerful dds in the game uh, but uh, we'll uh, keep it going. But I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know what you think below in the comments and sections. Uh, we're on our way to 2,000 subscribers. Uh, premium DD giveaway. Like, subscribe, bell button below. Can't thank you guys enough for all the support. And I'll show you at the very end the build on the screen right there. More for a concealment gunboat build. Um, I will stand by for another video where I'll do, again, I was talking about the uh, torpedo build for the USS Black. But that's it in a nutshell. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you guys soon. Stay safe. Cheers.